Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to episode five, I think. Yes, episode five of um, Project Architect. The reason why I'm not too sure is because I recorded today's episode yesterday, you know, trying to be on top of things. And then when I went to edit it, the audio was corrupted. So, um, yeah, I will edit in the footage through the magic of YouTube. But um, basically, I, uh, as you can see through the window, I made a portal, another portal. We went to the nether. Um, what else did I do? Went to the nether. I made diamond armor. As you can see from my beautiful get up. And also we made, what did we do? Uh, integrated dynamics. I made squeezing basin, I think. Did I? Or maybe that was the episode before. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, went to the nether basically. Yeah, I think that was it. So today, um, I want to start on the integrated dynamic storage system. We're not really going to need it as such because we can probably jump straight into refined storage, but we'll see how it goes. All right. I mean, I want, like I said, I want to be able to do it at least once. Um, the pack was updated and I think Hexerai was removed. Yeah, Hexerai was removed, which is a shame. I wanted to learn it. Um, the buildings still show up on the mini map here it's kind of corrupted so i'm pretty sure if we went out there there wouldn't be anything yeah i think that was probably yeah that's the hexarine biome and now it's gone so that's why it looks like this i was wondering why it looked a bit weird on my mini map so um so yes yeah, so they're no longer a thing um apparently more things are emcable but I don't know which things are EMCable. But it'd be nice if Tinker's ingots are EMCable. Oh, I got cobalt in the um no they're not. I got cobalt in the nether, but they are not EMCable. I know we need to make the furnace. Oh yes, and I knew there was something else. There's a cave right it's right here it's around here it's a big old cave and we found copper so at least now i can make the tinker smeltery so today it will be the integrated dynamics um storage system and the tinker smeltery so let's go with that. Um, right, integrated dynamics. We need the book. Do I have the book on me? Yes, I do. Um, I think my music's gone back up. Hold on, let me turn it down a little bit. Um, music sounds. No, it hasn't. It's the level it always is. It just sounded a little bit. Yeah, it just sounded a little bit loud. Okay, right. Uh, mineral basis network foundations. Okay, we need logic cables. Did we make logic cables? Okay, no, right. All right, so we made the squeezer. We made the drying basin. Logic cable, they're not EMCable. Okay. Oh, yes, because we wanted redstone and we did get redstone. So we need redstone, we need crystallized mineral chunks. Let's put some of this away. Um, Saddy root seeds. Uh, what was the other thing? Um, oh, yes, in the nether, you can get lapis piles. And you put them in a 
in a group of nine to get a piece of lapis and you also get um what do you call it um there's some kind of iron and you get enchanted iron nuggets and on their own they're enchanted but when you put them into an iron ingot it loses the enchant it loses the enchantment which is a bit strange you also get these glowstone stalactites which give you a lot of emc oh yes and also we got to a million emc but probably because i got a lot of glowstone dust a lot of the um glowstone stalactite that gave me quite a big bump so we reached a million emc so we're a millionaire so yeah that's good um right that we want some redstone let's take 10 of those we want some sticks let's take might as well take a stack and we want some pl some logs probably i think log uh let's just take the mineral logs we also need to make um a sticky piston and a piston slime oh i did look i went looking for slime as well um there's a slime island over where the wizard towers are and i went up to it there was no slimes on it which was because i stood under it waiting for the slimes to fall down as they usually do and they didn't so i nerd pulled all the way up and um yeah there was nothing up there so i just basically decimated the slime island and um got as much slimes as possible and i also stone do we have stone like normal stone yes and also i came back with a slime with slime sapling and that's out there you can just about see it there so it will grow at some point right so the book says we need logic cables so we have that can i not make like more yeah nine should be okay then we need to make mineral cards oh okay we need to make some more mineral blocks let's make a couple of those i also got the um i got enough to get the octopic um trinket remember we got that i think in the episode before last and then i got enough okay Note to self, can't be standing on it when you try to reset it. I got enough XP to get it. And the Octopic, basically, it veins mine, it vein mines ores, but it doesn't vein mine everything. And it seems to work mostly on vanilla ores. Or maybe you can reset it when you're on it. We'll try that next time so um yeah it seems to vein mine mostly vanilla ores oh yeah it does cool so i got that as well so it's it's better than nothing i guess but i still miss oh you know what? we should look to see no it's it's still that All right, I think that should be enough um, mineral for now. Okay, so we want nine. We want paper. Did I make paper? No, I didn't. All right, so the variable card was that, and it makes 24 which is awesome and then the in we need an input trans uh, input variable transformer we need a sticky piston and then let's learn you as well 
So input variable transformer. Need four of those. Is there an ex export variable transformer? Maybe. Let's have a look at the book. And it why is it? I keep saying this all the time. Okay, variable cards and variable transformers. Variable cards. Okay. We did input. There is an output. Okay, so we need a normal piston. Right, let's go and sleep. I don't want mobs to spawn. Right, we need a normal piston. Um, output variable. What are we missing? Menril. We've got four of those as well. And um, there's another bit as well. We've made that. Oh, we need to make the wrench. Oh, there's lots of wrenches. Let's see what wrenches we have. There's one for create. Oh, there's... Did I say... Did I know that cyclic was in this? I can't remember. Uh, cyclic wrench, framed box wrench, integrated dynamics. Pi oh, pipes is in this. Excellent. Power. RF tools. Redstone arsenal. No idea what that is. Refined storage. Supplementaries. Okay, right, but we want this one. And we're getting a bit full. All right, and we've made those logic cables. Oh, build a logic network with at least 10 connected logic cables. All right, but they're... All right, one. But isn't this, there is something. Okay, hold on. So how are we gonna build the network? Because I'm pretty sure. All right, this isn't really helping. Let's look at the advancements. Uh, more villagers, create integrated dynamics. All right, we've done those. I wish you could expand this. This would be nice. There's these things. Integrated tunnels. Craft an item interface. I think that's what I wanted. From what I've been seeing. All right, let's put some stuff away. Um, right, you can go in. Okay, what was what was those things called? Logic interface. No. Let's type in logic. Let's see what it is. I'm trying to remember from memory. No, it wasn't logic. It's was logic cable. Some kind of interface. Energy interface. Item interface. Alright, so we need some more mineralized crystals and oak chests. Or any chest. I did turn. There's quarkers in this. So I turned the quark chest into a normal Minecraft chest just so we can get some more EMC. And basically, you just put the chest in the middle and it would because Quark would give you like spruce chests and whatever other variants. And I just put them in the middle and it turns it into a Minecraft chest. I don't know if it works the other way around, if it will give you any other. Nope. But, you know, in case you have something that needs the Minecraft chest, that's how you do it. Um, item interface, item fluid, item. Do I not get another set? Okay, so if I remember correctly, I need some more chests. Do barrels give you more storage space? You know what I've never noticed? I don't know. You need to be able to get behind it to get the um to get to get to the slots. Alright, barrel. Four five six. Seven. We probably won't need that many, to be honest. Do 
All right, let's put four at least. And then you put on. Where's the item interf uh There's the item inter. I item interfaces interfaces. Oh, those look pretty on the back. I like that. And then you put on the logic cables. Okay. All right. Um, variable transformers are crafting elements for. Okay. It's network foundations. We've done that. Ten connected logic cables. All right. One of the ver one of the methods for binding variable cards to certain values is by reading in values from readers, basic readers, and after that, craft a display panel. Okay. So we need a block of redstone, two redstone dust, and an input variable transformer to give you a redstone reader, block reader, inventory reader, machine reader, static light panel. Okay, so what, what do you need to make your network? I just want simple storage. Just want a simple storage network. All right, well, we can make the readers. Let's have a look at the... Um, I think it's the inventory reader we'd need. All right, let's make the inventory reader. All right, we need some chests. Okay, so we've got that. And I think you... Oh, I should have done five and then it will pop up in the middle. Yeah, I like it when it's, um, when it's symmetrical. At least I think everybody does. I think everybody likes it when it's symmetrical. Um, item interface. We've got another barrel. Okay. Can I rotate that with this wrench? No. Nope. You can't. Why are you being so obstinate? All the rest place really nicely. Does it depend on where you are looking? I don't know. There you go. Um, okay. And it's night time again. Oh, okay. If we put some things in this, oh, is it only going to see it from whatever's in front of it? Don't know. I have no idea how it works and this isn't telling me. So <laughs> I am going to have to do my usual I look for a YouTube video. Actually, I was watching one before I started. And I kind of thought I had it. But obviously I don't. So let me go have a look again. And then I'll be back. What if I drop down there? Oh, redstone. Then I'll be back. And hopefully I'll have um, something that works. Maybe I should use the wrench on this. No. I don't know why it didn't take off the cable. That's a bit bizarre. Yeah, so I'll be back and hopefully I'll be able to set it up. Okay. Um, I was all, I was almost there. I had to make, um, not the inventory reader, storage terminal, a static light panel and the display panel. So that's the inventory reader. Don't want that storage terminal. Use the display terminal, the display panel. So display panel is two static light panels two mineral berries and output variable transformer and then um and that gives you a display panel then the display panel is used to make the storage terminal and that was with mineral glass which is basically you put in a piece of glass 
you put in some mineral in the squeezer and you jump up and down as usual. I'm not on it properly, that's why. There you go. And then it will form and make mineral glass. So that's what you needed for that. I'll leave that doing. So I put the um, the cables on the back were correct. Then I need another cable here. The item interface. I don't think I need the item interface. Let's have a look. But we need a storage terminal. Move you out of the way. Storage terminal. Item crafting. There you go. So it shows everything that we have. It shows you how much space we have. Okay. That wasn't too bad. It wasn't too, too bad. So, okay. I, I can live with that for now. And then we can also put up the smelter. And then in between episodes, I'll put up the Tinker's Smeltery. So, um, I should have probably, I might shift this around so it looks a little bit better. I don't know. And, oh yes, I had to take these things out as well. I know vein mine doesn't work. I think those, those are quark chests. So if I put it in the middle, it will transform it into, um, a normal Minecraft chest. Yeah, put you there, put you there. Right, so let's make our smeltery. So we need copper. Let's take, I think you need six, eight. Let's take 18. Um, did I make seared bricks or did I just make grout? I think I just made grout. Ah, wish I'd thought about that before. Okay, let this smelt up and then I will be back in a second with all the all the magic stuff you know how i keep telling you you have to you know have a different mindset when um working with emc yeah i keep forgetting it even though i keep saying it i keep forgetting it all i needed to do was smelt up one piece of grout to get one seared brick and then i could Duplicate the seared brick to make seared stone bricks and EMC that as well. So, yeah, didn't think about that, did I? Yeah, put those back in, put back the slime balls and the planks. Right, so we got the copper. We want to make a smelter. No, we want them. Was it a melter? It is not the smelter controller. Seared heater. Yes, it is the melter. We want the seared heater, which is one of those. All right, seared heater is that. Cast in basin. Uh, seared shoot, seared duct, seared drain. Don't need any of those. The faucet we need. Um, and the melter. Did it not give me a melter? Seared fuel tank. No. I put melter. Why is it not? Right, seared melter. Okay, because it's seared. And we need seared, so we need glass. And it's night time again. All right, seared melter. That um, seared seared fuel gauge. Then the seared melter. You know, I've never checked if this side of the house is adequately lit. It always looks really dark. Do that quick while I remember. Eh, things can spawn. I know torch spam. It's annoying, but. I'll get some options done eventually. Ah, uh, right. So we have the seared heater, gas ca casting basin, smelt the melter, and faucets. And we need to learn those things. Uh, that. Anything else? No, I think that was it. Does that not? Doesn't shift click off? Okay. That's good to know. So if we set this up 
here and casting basin can go in front the not the heater uh, the melter goes on top and we want a faucet to go on the front then we get we want copper and we need coal we can take some out of the some out of this we don't need very much you just need enough to um to melt it so you need four ingots of copper then you get let me make the seared I think you take the melter and you put no not the melter the seared what do you make I can't remember um the smeltery and that seared stone seared glass seared shoot nope that's not it either but we need to make one of those smeltery controller that's it you take the seared heater and you put it so the seared heater is the bit behind here take that out uh, what did I do with my pickaxe? I put it in my backpack. Did that come out? That's the fuel tank. There's the heater. You put it... No, wrong thing. You put it in the casting basin. And then you put the copper on top of it. It's a bit. It takes a bit of getting used to because old Tinkers was not like that. And we have the smeltery controller. Now, I am not going to make a big smeltery because I always make one that is way too big and I never use it. Uh, we want the fuel tank. We don't want the melter. We want the casting basin. We need a casting table. We also need some gold to make ingots. And we need seared bricks. Okay, let's make you put the smeltery here? I think we could make it here. At the middle of the room. Um one, two, three. One, two, three. One. And we want the the fuel tank okay we can see it that means it's valid we need to put a torch behind here and then we also need to put in all right oh we need seared seared shoots i think it's the seared shoots uh, a smeltery item input and output, yes. So we need two of those. Let me see, where should we put those? On this side, I think. Uh, where's the shoots? Here. Oh, it's highlighting it in yellow where it can go. Nope, don't want it there. Nice. So, we put the faucets on here. I remember correctly and you put the crafting table on one side crafting table the sear table one side the basin on the other and how many can this take three by one two three four five six three by six eighteen and then if we want to automate it we can put a hopper and chests underneath and it will auto it will output so there's that. Let's get some lava. Um, I don't know if there's any way to like pump lava into this, to be honest. But to be um, also, I don't know how much we're going to be using the Tinker Smeltery. 
I can set it always make it too big and I don't need to. Is that full? That's full, right. Um, I took it out. It's over here. And the Tinker Smeltery will all double for you. Okay. I might make it bigger if we need, if we need blaze blood. But because you have to kill blazes in the smeltery in order to get the blaze blood. But we'll see how it goes. Okay, it looks like it's melted already. Has it melted? Yes, it has. Let's put in is it two gold or one gold for making a cast. And we need some sand. No, we don't need the sand. We just need the seared brick. Okay, put this on top. Put the brick on top. Did I put it in the wrong place? All right, maybe you need to. I really need to put a roof on this thing. But you know what? I think now I can make the gadget exchanger. Seared shoot. Is that not what you do? I thought, no, maybe that's not it. We need a drain. Uh, drain. Can we make another one? Okay. The shoot was not what we need. I don't know what you use the shoot for, to be honest. And you don't get into the smeltery while it's valid because you will end up taking damage. You end up with blood in the smeltery and then that's how you get, um, uh, balls of congealed blood, which you can use for uh, in the place of slime. There you go. And now we have our ingot cast. Oh, I did only need one. Okay, how many do we have here? One block, one ingot. Okay, let's turn you on and turn you on. And are we full? But we have a working smeltery. Which is awesome. And it didn't take too long. Well, I mean, we didn't have to go around waiting for grout to smelt up and whatever, whatever. So it wasn't that bad. But we have a working smeltery. Um, yeah, like I said, I don't know. I don't know how big I'm going to make it. It depends whether I need to make blaze blood and stuff. And how much ore I can get. Because obviously we'll need to go back to the nether to keep getting cobalt. Um, RF tools is in this, so we can probably make a quarry at some point. But, um, but yeah, we did what we set out to do. We made the integrated dynamics, simple storage. Although, like I said, we probably won't need it for very long, but I made it and we made our smeltery. So thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.